Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how, how to load the CSV file data to the MySQL table. So for that one, first of all, we need the CSV file and I have created one. So you're going to take a look on this CSV file. It has some columns such as ID, salesperson first name, salesperson last name, product name, item sold and rest of the columns. And that's the data it has. Now, depending upon these the list of the columns, I have prepared the create statement for the uh, table. So here's the, our create statement. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to go to the MySQL. So in the database called the TB Tech Brothers, I have this table called the total sale with ID integer, sale person, first name, last name and all other columns. Most of them are worker and a couple of them are like such as item sold. Uh, that's integer sold prices and float. So I choose that data type according to the what data is present in the uh, CSV file. Now let's go ahead and uh, create this table. So the table is created. You can see that we can take a look on the data. So right now there is no data in this table. Now we are what we are going to do. We are going to create our package. So go to the bids or SSDT SQL Server data tools. I have a Visual Studio 2015 and I'm going to right click on the packages new package and that's where our new package is ready. Now what we need, we need a data flow task here in the data flow task. What I need, I need to read the data from the CSV file. So under the uh, sources, let's say common here, maybe I can find a LADB source. Let me see where I can find other sources. Sorry, right there, flat file source. That's what I need. Now in the flat file source, I need to make a connection to my CSV file. Okay, so let's make the connection. Double click on this one, create a new connection and then browse to your file. And my file is on desktop. It is a data type of CSV. So right there, I find the file. Now what I'm going to do, uh, my first uh, row, uh, row uh, is a header row, so that's fine. And now I have uh, just a look at the columns, looks good. And if there is anything I want to do such as the data type or anything such as let's say item sold, I want to convert this to the string here, I can do that, uh, otherwise uh, uh, I can let it be. So you make all the choices, whatever you need to, and uh, then uh, choose the right data type for your columns here. Then preview the report here and you're going to be good. Uh, retain null values if you want to have null values wherever it is a, a, a blank. So it will keep that. Go to columns. Column looks good. Hit OK. Now the hard part to come or uh, the part we need to learn about. We need uh, the ODBC driver for uh, our MySQL. So we need to go here and then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to go to the new connection and here We'll, we'll uh, use ODBC driver here. That's a connection manager we are going to use right there and uh, hit uh, add and uh, create a new one. And I'm going to provide the connection string. So here I have already prepared the connection string. This is how your connection string is going to look like. You're going to say driver equal to curly parentheses. And here is your the name of the driver you are going to use. So if you don't have the driver, what you're going to do, you're going to download the driver by using this link. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and show you how this link will look like. So you paste it there. And then this is the driver you are going to use. Windows X686 32-bit MSI installer. So that's the one you are going to download and then install. In case uh, you have uh, an error with the redistribution, uh, this is uh, another link uh, because when I tried to uh, install the ODBC driver, I was getting the error saying uh, your redistribution X86 is not installed. And then I use this link uh, to install that. So I'm just going to give these links in the description. It will help you. I'm going to just paste that and show you as well. And uh, that's what I did. So I used uh, this uh, VX uh, Redx uh, X86 dot XZ and uh, I execute this one and then I uh, installed the, the ODBC driver I'm showing you right here. Once I installed that uh, and I went to the ODBC uh, data sources here, I was able to see under the driver. So right there. You see that uh, my SQL ODBC 8.0 and C driver. That's what uh, 
uh, I saw after the installation. So that's what I'm going to use. There is another one, Unicode driver, but I am fine with the NC one, so I'm going to use that one. Okay, so after uh, we had the ODBC driver successfully installed, that's the connection string we need to use. So I was telling you, you are going to say driver, then curly parentheses, and then the name of the driver, and here your server name comes. So server is equal to local host. That's the server name of your MySQL. So if your uh, MySQL server is uh, installed on some other uh, computer, you might get the IP. You're going to ask your DBA, hey, where is my uh, uh, MySQL installed? He might say, okay, this is where your SQL is installed. He give you this IP. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's mostly that's what he's gonna give you, and uh, here in my case, it's installed on the same machine, so that's why I called it local host. Next part is the, uh, excuse me, you're gonna say database equal to. You're gonna provide the database name in which your table does exist. In my case, it's a TB, and then uh, you're gonna provide the username. So here is my username is also TB. I just gave have the same name for my user that I created in this database and have permission and then my password is the DBA123. Okay, so in your case, what you're gonna get from your DBA, uh, you're gonna get a, a computer name for MySQL, like a where, or your server name, and then you're gonna get uh, the database name, you're gonna get uh, your username, and then you're gonna get you the password. So this user should have the permission already on MySQL when you are trying to uh, load the data. So if you don't have it, I, I can show you guys quickly uh, how to create that user. So you will say create user, and then uh, you say uh, TB, put single quotes around, at the rate, and then IP from where, where your server is, uh, uh, sorry from where your SSIS package is going to run. So uh, in other words, uh, uh, you need this user to have access on the MySQL box uh, from the IP where your uh, SSIS package is going to be executed. So in my case, I'm going to execute my uh, SSIS package on the same server. So that's why I called it localhost. If I will be running my uh, SSIS package from maybe 10.1 or 10 something uh, IP, whatever the IP where my uh, SS, uh, SSIS package is going to run, that's what I will provide. So, okay. And identify by password. And the, here you will say grant all or what grant select or insert and all that. But in my case, I grant uh, provided grant for everything to the this database. So, so on TB, I and uh, I provide to the this user. So this user can access everything. Flush privileges. It will uh, refresh the permissions. And uh, then uh, if I want to see uh, the permission, I will say show grants for this uh, uh, user. So here localhost so if i will say then what you're going to do you're going to see all the permissions so right here grant all privileges on your database so right there okay so that's how uh, you're going to get the permissions once the permissions are done uh, you're all good uh, and you can just uh, copy paste your uh, um, connection string and uh, get it done so that's good we are just going to paste uh, our connection string here and then i'm going to click on the uh, username and it took the TB because that's what our username is. And I'm going to provide the DBA123 just uh, and uh, I'm going to test my connection string. It's all good now. And uh, our TB1 connection string is uh, created. Now, uh, what we need here, we need OLED, uh, sorry, ODBC destination. So we are going to go to the common and here is our ODBC destination. Because we are reading from full ad file and we are loading to the MySQL by using ODBC driver. Here is uh, our connection is already uh, selected. Now I'm gonna select the table and my table name is the total sale. Go to mapping and here it took the mapping automatically and match it because it's the same column names what I have uh, in the uh, CSV file. So if you have different, you can match them and it's all good now. Now we are gonna go and uh, this is packet number seven we are going to hit uh, execute package and it should read uh, some rows from a flat file and load to the our mysql table so you see that is it read 11 rows and then load it to the sorry mysql it's very confusing when you work with a lot of sql server and uh, uh, then you work with mysql it's hard to even pronounce sometimes okay so 11 rows are loaded in the 
table called the total sale. Now, what happened? It's all good. Now, sometime in a production where you will have a different username, a different uh, password you you need to make the changes and you don't want to use the hard code connection manager here because you want to pass that values to the environment uh, to the parameter uh, in when you deploy the package so uh, there are a couple of ways to do it you can uh, create the parameter here or you can create the variable so your choice uh, if you create a parameter you are going to go ahead and add a parameter let's say we call it uh, username and uh, let's call it uh, string and then we call it password Okay, and uh, let's call it string too. And uh, remember that our username is uh, TB and uh, what uh, we have here, DBA123. Uh, that was our password. Now, what you can do, you can go back to your control flow and here you're gonna go right click here, go to the properties right here on the right side, go to the expressions and then uh, you're gonna find a connection string. And then you can create a connection string depending on the values of your parameter. So double click here and now we can see that we have two parameters here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the same connection string and uh, just paste it here. First of all, I will put double quotes around it and then uh, I will come to the point where I have my username right here. I will remove the TB and put double quotes around it plus sign, another plus sign, and double quotes. So, and uh, that's where our username need to go, okay? So your username is gonna land right there. That's the parameter we used. And uh, then uh, for the password, uh, what we are gonna do, we will uh, remove the password here. We'll put uh, double quotes around here, and then plus sign, and here we use the password. Okay, so then we say evaluate expressions, and uh, this is how your expression is going to look like. I'm going to give you just in the, I'm going to put right here. So you can see that's how it will look like. So driver, uh, I put double quotes around here. So make this string part of it. Uh, if your database name change, you can also uh, have some uh, parameter for this one or variable for this one. And uh, here I put double quotes around it and then have plus sign. My parameter goes here, plus sign. Uh, double quotes around here you know and uh, then uh, I have a plus uh, the password that's the expression you expression uh, you're gonna use in connection string uh, for the ODBC so you can change uh, uh, or provide uh, the different uh, username and password when you deploy your packages for production and uh, UAT and other environments uh, so hit OK now we can go ahead and rerun our package and it should have uh, load another uh, 11 records now our table should have 22 records so instead of 11 i'm going to go ahead and count now it should have 22 records because we reloaded and you can see that is 22. okay so this is how you will create your ssis package that can read the data from flat file or csv file and load to the mysql table I'll, what i will do i will put all these links in the description and you can take from there and uh, use them whenever you need. And I hope you like my tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, I will see you guys in next video.